There's a couple ways to generate a task status report. When you create a task as a quick review, let me double click to open up a new task window, and you come up here to assign the task. Down below, if you got the box check, send me a status report, that will activate it, that is if they accept the task, that when they complete the task, it'll automatically send you a task status report. And at any point along the way, both you and the person you assigned it to can send each other or anybody the status of that task or a task status report. So let me show you. Let's go ahead and close out of here, not save it. Cleaning out the fridge, double click, we assign that to Carrie. It's at 6% complete. And so when she completes it, it'll automatically send me that status report. But I can also send a status report. Well, how does that work? Well, I've got a snapshot of where she's at right now. So if I need to report to my superiors, I can come up here on the task tab to the manage task group and send a status report. Click on it. It takes a snapshot of the task. It copies over the subject. First of all, that it's a task status report. And then the subject, cleaning out the company fridge. And then down below that snapshot. That shows the actual hours that she worked, the percent complete, and some notes were the most recent notes. Let's go ahead and we can delete that or even update it here. You know, it's not static. And say, well, I think she's going to be 7%. And then go ahead and send it off. Now, you can do that on your end and not wait for her to have it marked 100% complete. And she can also do it on her end as well. So let's go ahead and have her do that, send us a status report about where she's at right now. But because we have that first checkbox checked, any update she makes will automatically, you know, update as we covered in an earlier training video here and mark the task as unread. So we can just double click to open it up. But she can at any point send us a status report, which I'm going to have her do that right now. And she can send it to anybody, but we'll just have her send it off to us so we can reference it. Let me go to the mail folder, come up here, send receive. And there it is, task status report, cleaning out the company fridge. Double click. It's exactly what we see in our task folder that she's at 6% of completion with an actual work of three hours. So she can send that to us, but it probably doesn't do us any good, especially when we get all the updates because of the first of those two check boxes that we check, that any changes that she makes, as we talked about in an earlier training video, like even if it's just a simple dot or period at the end of the subject, it automatically sends us the update. So she may want to do that if she wants to send it off to somebody else instead of me, who was the original owner of the task, but she needs to notify somebody else for whatever reason, she can do it. And I can do it as well. Let me go ahead and delete that, go back to the task folder, and then open it up here as we just went over. Now let me go ahead and have her mark it complete, because when she does that, it'll automatically send the report over to me. And, of course, showing it that it will be 100% complete. So let's go ahead and close out of here and come up here, click send receive. And the moment that I get it, you'll see it right here. There we go. The task status report, also with the status update, because remember, we checked both boxes. So the first one that we got tagged with was the update, which means it was 100% complete. So it puts a line through it saying it's complete and it checked it. Then the second one was the status report. So we basically got two messages here. One, we don't read it, just comes right into the task folder, as we already talked about, and just updates it. The other one is actually in the inbox right here, the task status report. Double click, and there you go. Task completed, cleaning out the company fridge. Automatically gets sent off by default when the task has been completed. Go back to the task folder, and then Whedon. Double click to open it up. That's been assigned to me. And so if I go ahead and mark it 100% complete, it'll send it off to her. Two messages, one, that it was completed, and then the second one was the status report. And of course, I can come in here, click on send status report before I mark it complete, and then type in whatever I want, send it off to her or send it off to somebody else. And she can do the same thing on her end because she's the owner of it, and plus, she's still tied to it. She didn't disconnect from me completely because in the details view, there's the update. It's going to be sending it right to her. So let me come up here, mark it complete. Down below, you can see one of two messages is being sent. The first one is the update because she had the box checked that she wants all the updates. Then the second one, because it was completed by default, she gets the task status report. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.